Welcome back everybody to TechPress. In this tutorial, let's take a look into how you can connect our modem directly into Shopify. There's a couple of things you wanted to do in order to get started. But the very first thing I do love to do is to connect everything into just one place. Usually what I do is to go directly into MailChimp.com. I'm going to go into uh, sign in and once I have signed it into my account, I'm going to go back now into Shopify. So usually when you're just getting started inside Shopify and MailChimp, you can always go into the load pod and focus into applications. Inside apps, I wanted to click in here and you can type the application that you wanted to implement into your actual Shopify. In this case, let's try with MailChimp. So depending on the country you're currently living, sometimes this one appears into the dashboard and the store of the app store of Shopify, sometimes it doesn't. So in this case, it is actually appearing here. So what you wanted to do is to click into MailChimp, email marketing, and you hit into install. Now, if this one does not appear into your own account, what you wanted to do is to go inside your MailChimp. You can always go into the left pod and focus inside here into integrations. I want to introduce to go into integrations. Let's go into this cover. And now here into search for an integration, you can type Shopify. Usually this appears for almost any country. So what you want her to do is to choose the application and hit to get started. So you can do option number one or you can do option number two. Let's type with the most easiest one, which is to install this directly from Shopify. So once you install the application, um, it's going to be asking you to sign in MailChimp, but inside the actual Shopify. So what I want to do is to go into my apps. If you wanted to pen this into your navigation of the application, you want to do this. If you don't, it's okay. Let's go into login. Since we already have an account, what we just need to do is to log in and authorize. Let's get into hello. Just wait a few seconds though. And now this pop-up of the actual MailChimp is going to pop out. And we are now going to be inside the MailChimp email marketing inside Shopify. Which that means what we just need to do is to sync our store data using default settings or configure how the Shopify account detects that it feels important to MailChimp. So if you scroll a little bit up, let's go into sync now. And all my elements from Shopify is going to be synced into my MailChimp automatically. Now, if you don't know if this one is actually working, you wanted to go back into your MailChimp. And here I want to go into reload my page and just make sure that the integration of the Shopify has not been successfully added. So as you can see, you can go into integrations, hit into managed, and inside managed it's going to be add appearing all the actual applications of the integration that I just added for MailChimp. As you can see, Shopify has been successfully connected. So I can click here. And you might see that you have a little bit more information about this integration. For example, which says synced in your historical Shopify data. For example, our customers, the subscriber, our products, our orders, and all our promo codes. Usually, this doesn't take more than five minutes, but you can always go back and check it out here directly into your own applications. So um, you can continue into MailChimp so you can get started sending some emails, some, sending some websites and all of that, or you can just uh, fill here the information to see the journey, to see how we can encourage people to visit our Shopify store once again, create repeat customers. Uh, everything should be added into your actual MailChimp. So I'm gonna just focus in to reload my page in both Shopify and my actual MailChimp. As you can see, all my products has now been successfully imported and I, I can just get started into the actual integration of Shopify. So usually MailChimp takes care of the brand kit, even absolutely anything, all your elements from your Shopify, your design, your templates, everything is gonna be added from Shopify into MailChimp and you don't have to do like anything in order to get started. All of the design should be added directly from your Shopify store. So uh, hopefully guys, it was a pretty useful information for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more creatives of how you can get started importing stuff from MailChimp and to edit all your information from MailChimp into Shopify. So, so thank you once again for watching the video guys. See you on the next video.